Well, hi there, everyone, and welcome back to another teaching podcast. Today's topic, how I developed a grateful heart. Now, before we begin, I just want to quickly say thank you. Thank you to all of you who are watching this for seeking mentorship, for being teachable, for being consistent, for investing in your personal character. Some of you are my students. Some of you are not my students. We've met in the community and or you are maybe a referral from someone else. But I'm just so grateful that I can use this platform and venue to talk to you about character. Before we begin, I just want to quickly tell you about this podcast is not about me becoming famous, rich, influential, etc. This podcast is about me sharing my passion for mentoring, sharing life lessons, the good times and the bad times, opening up to whoever wants to listen online and helping you reflect upon your own life to hopefully make great life decisions. It's not about me teaching you how to live life. It's about me helping you think and ponder and reflect upon your life so that you can make good decisions. All right, let's begin. So what I love about this title is I want to emphasize today on how I developed a grateful heart. I don't think anyone wakes up with with a grateful heart, but they develop it as they go throughout life. If I were to ask you to choose a path, A or B, which one would you pick? Well, if it was me in high school, I'd pick A. Why? Well, I pick B. I I would pick the path of least resistance. However, um, I want you to say, and like Gary, I want to say that we all have a beautiful story. We all have a beautiful testimony. And here is really mine. I've shared this with my students in more detail, but here's what I can say to you. For the past 30 years of my life, here's kind of the life trajectory of my life. Uh, I started off in a great household, wonderful parents, the uh, the best parents I could ever ask for. I really grew up with without much stress, without much problems, to be very honest. Um, But it wasn't until I hit high school and really towards the tail end of high school, approaching college, that this kind of slump started to happen. And this wasn't just like a V shape where I went straight down and then I went straight back up. Uh, I stayed down for a few years and um, this had to do with the 2008 housing recession. Um, And why was college such a difficult time? Well, this was a period of time in which I did not have stable housing. Um, I remember going from house to house. I remember staying in the living room. I remember sleeping in my car. So these are all real things. I was away from my family. My family had to uh, move out of the OC, um, like they were going through some different things as well. My my personal bank account was negative. I was at the age of 18, I was really on my own. And every time I checked my bank account for the next few years, it was always negative until I got my next paycheck. So it was, it was really a, a time of instability. Um, I didn't really have any hope and I didn't really have any purpose in, in my life. Now, if that was the it, it'd be a pretty sad story because it would end there and say, oh, wow, for my last couple of years, right? But but here's the thing about my life. If you take a look at the overall picture, this is usually how life ends up. Regardless of what you go through, it, it almost, come on, 100%, it always picks up, all right? So people ask me all the time, Mr. Chad, why are you so happy? Well, I feel as if through this situation and seeing where I am now in life compared to where I was, my perspective has definitely changed. And I truly believe that through my pain, I developed gratitude, gratitude for everything in my life. Whenever uh, people ask me, uh, why, like every, every, every single day, like, why are you smiling so much? Why are you so happy to be a teacher? Oh, I love my life. Why? Because I look at what I have now and I look at, <laughs> and I think about what I had back then, it's night and day. I have a beautiful home. I have a beautiful wife. I have beautiful relationships. I have a beautiful career. I have beautiful purpose. I love waking up in the morning, right? So in short, there's so many things that I'm grateful for now that I gotta be honest with you, if I never went through this period of time in which I struggled for just a few years, I don't think I'd have this perspective of gratefulness that I have now, this this level of gratefulness that I have now. So here's some takeaways. So here's how I really developed a grateful heart by really, really, really being grateful for everything I have. You know, my faith is a very important part of my life. And I got to be honest with you, on the way down in life, at the very bottom of my life, that's where I reconnected with my faith that my parents raised me with. Um, It wasn't at the top. It wasn't on mountaintops that I really um, thought about this, but it was when I didn't have anything else. And that's part of my testimony. Hope 
is a huge thing that we all must have in life. Never lose hope that life will get better and that life will pick up, because it will. Purpose and perspective. Having a strong purpose, um, having perspective that your life will be better, it's, it's everything. Per perseverance and really delayed gratification. All I can say is this, I don't know what you're going through right now. We're all going through something, regardless of where you are in life, we're all going through something. And all I can say is, I'm sorry for what you have to go through, but hang in there, persevere, have a long lasting perspective and delayed gratification and really see the big picture of your life. Because I guarantee you that everything you're going through now is not in vain. Everything you're going through right now, there's a purpose. And I'm telling you, one day you can bless so many other people who have dealt with the same things that you're struggling with right now. So my challenge to you is this, number one, what are some things you can be more grateful for? Just think about that. What are some things that you take for granted that I take for granted? Number two, how are you gonna show this gratitude? So to think it is one thing, but to show it and to say it and to act on it is another thing. Whatever you're grateful for, go ahead and show your gratitude through, through your words and your actions. And number three, do you see the big picture of your life? And will you continue to persevere? Because I guarantee you, after every single valley, there's a <laughs> there's mountaintop. And keep going. Keep going no matter what. Thank you for letting me teach you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.